Hello viewers, Bauer here with a review of the 01 Others Kamara Metsubo Jinrai TX Kamara Zaya Zetsumurai's Key Set. So yeah, um, this was the, this is a premium Bandai set comprising of the two Zetsumurai's keys utilized by the main antagonist of Metsubo Jinrai Kamara Zaya himself, which is just a simple, you know, retooling of Zaya or Thouser, which at this point technically it's Black Thouser. Um, we got a picture of him on the side there, which, yeah, that is Black. That is not Black Thouser, that is Zaya. <laughs> the top, the bottom, and the left Zaya Enterprise. This is a really unnecessarily long box, but really thin too. Um, and obviously the back Zaya Forever, and a first for us. We're actually covering a U.S. release of a product because they decide to localize this one, but not. Either the next review or the review after that one. Really backwards on you, Team Rider. Or Team Common Rider. Whatever. <laughs> so here we have the two Zetsumarize keys out. And they are Zetsumarize keys. Again, properly. Um, first of all, here's the, well, I guess main Zetsumarize key, the... I did not rehearse the names. Carno Taurus Zetsumarize Key. Um, I don't know what it is. It looks... Is that supposed to be its arms? I really don't know what this is. Um, but, you know, it's a hunk of plastic. But you know what? I like that we got another one of this key. Cool. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know, like, this one looks like a Brachiosaurus, like a type of Brachiosaurus to me, but... Did you forget? I literally forgot that Zaya is supposed to be dinosaurs. Um, here's the Awaken Arsenal. So yeah, this one, you know, interestingly, is a just proper, or just a Zetsumarize key. It's not a Zetsumetsu Evolution. I kind of actually would have liked that they kept that consistent. So then, I didn't have to say the full name of this. But, um... Yeah, hunks of plastic, but great hunks of plastic. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Obviously, the prime Zetsumarize key, the... Tricarosaurus? Tri... Tri... Oh my gosh, this is Triceratops. Gosh, how stupid could I be? Uh, <laughs> obviously, it's a dinosaur, so... It, in my opinion, it, it makes sense to make these bulls as a rice keys, because their dinosaurs aren't extinct. Oh my gosh, I really need to actually... <laughs> um, obviously it's in, you know, this is our third version of this key after Caucasus and Eden. But obviously it's nice to, I guess, have a more proper version. Obviously just in translucent red, obviously following the trend of Dire Wolf and Serval Tiger. This one is 044 and it's QR code for Butabagamba. Um... Yeah, this one's actually in tone with uh, Servo Tiger, because Servo Tiger has a... Well, no duh, it's a progress key. <laughs> so it's just really neat that they actually made this silver. Clean it up. Um, unlike uh, Caucasus, we actually do just have a normal, like, Rider model color. It's the just annual blue and such. And then the cover. Obviously, we got the Triceratops. Interestingly, this one is positioned... Like, I like how they handled it, but it's this is, like, its main position. While, you know, when it's flipped open, it's actually upside down. Which, I think, 
works for what they want to do or what they're going with it. But it's just really cool how this is the first key that actually is like facing downward. Such. Obviously, here is Caucasus. I would have pulled Eden, but you know these two are more proper comparisons. Obviously, there's not really much to compare, but you know, it's nice that this one again really like the red for this and such. Obviously, we got our annual sounds really similar to Caucasus. Military horn. We actually do have a proper red LED, especially because of this. So that's really interesting. Army horn. President horn. Obviously, we do have our two annual like ability sounds, our thousand jacker sounds. But um, obviously, it'll just continue pulsating. Such. However, um, we actually do have a memorial mode. It's not the same like the other ones because they didn't get the actor back. But if you hold the button down, we get the sound of him throwing this key to his hand, which is cool. <laughs> um, other than that, uh, everything's still the same. And then when, you know, when it does that sound, which is essentially just the activation sound without the uh, name, um, we get, we're back to the normal mode. And again, this one does not have an ability. So obviously this one is military horn because obviously Zaya is more militaristic and such and like, you know, sell the weapons to murder everyone. <laughs> what it was it was just all weapons to cause war um yeah let's get the thousand driver man it's so grateful to actually use this thing post series so obviously transformation process just slide this into the left like so activate the key and slide to the right So there we have the transformation of Kamen Rider Zaya, which I really do like. It's a, you know, completely different take on Thouser's transformation. Um, the instrumentals are pretty neat and such. And I, most people are probably going to just be like, oh, wow, they couldn't get the voice of the Thousand Driver to come back to do the voice. Well, I think literally, you know, after doing, you know, that's a bit jarring at first. But at the same time, or not at the same time. But I think it's kind of obvious that it was the same voices doing the Thousand Driver stuff. They probably heavily filtered it or they were just speaking in a different tone. But you know what? I still like that consistency. But like, I really do like the Zaya keys in this thing. It really does give a different look to <laughs> the Thousand Driver. And it also just... We finally have keys for this belt. Like, how long did it take for... Like, it took them after the series to actually give this driver new keys. Oh, my gosh. But, like... Um, also, I want you guys to pay attention to this place, or like, to the core here, because I really do like what they did. I actually probably bring it closer. Obviously, we do have the main finisher. So there we got the CEO of Destruction, which is pretty neat. Like, I really like how, again, just like the Zero and Driver with the uh, previous set, the Dire Wolf and Zero Tiger, I really do like with the translucent plastic or the translucent colored covers, like how they shine through the core or the center of the belt. 
and like I really like how the Triceratops and Arsenal flow, like how they come together in the belt. Like obviously they can't do much about the Arsenal because it's firmly there. It would have been cool if they, there was a way of them to like, you know, make this into whatever dinosaur it is. But honestly, like, you know, they still did the job of like having the horns and such with the Triceratops. Which is why I really think it's clever of like them switching the position of the Triceratops. Obviously, we do have our break finisher. Yeah, like, the Triceratops makes up, like, three of the horns, and then obviously the Arsenal makes up the other two. So just kind of like this one, but, like, again, I just like how they got it to work. And I really do like how the blue LED comes out of the, uh, cover right here. So obviously, again, we got a memorial mode, so just simply hold the button down. This is what I'm talking about with, like, the v -Cinema stuff. It's like, the qual the speaker quality on this one is, like, really crisp and clear. So it's, like, really cool that they bother to actually throw in this without having the actor in. It shows that you don't need the actor to throw in a memorial mode. It's, they didn't need to put this in there, but it's cool they did. And it's like, yeah, it's cool that the... Metzbel, Jinrai, and Vulcan and Valkyrie have it. It's just the speaker quality really, like, hurt it and such. Obviously, we have the finisher. Like, that's, it's a really cool addition to this. Now let's use this in everything we have. Oh, so with the Zero One driver. It's so nice to hear, hear that authorize again. <laughs> Obviously, it's the same thing, but here you can actually see the Triceratops more. I personally don't remember if I used uh, this one with the assault grip. And one thing I should actually probably bring up, so yes, I did fix this. However, I think the reason why mine was the way it was is because this button now actually gets stuck and it's now like really, it's not as smooth of pressing and it just gets stuck. So, weird way of having to sacrifice this just to get the button to work smoothly, but I don't know. <laughs> instrumentals for this one. <laughs> we'll get all Zaya products out right away. If I can actually frame this. Slash 
tries. Obviously, I'll probably go through this when we get to the shot riser. Military Obviously, it doesn't matter what mode it's in, because if obviously when it's a memorial mode, it won't do anything in anything else besides this thousand driver. So the shot riser obviously is like, like, you would think it's your just mundane shot riser. Military horn. What? However, it's when we actually do the finishers. Military horn. They finally decide to give it its own standby. I gotta give this guy credit. He, like, he's so self indulgent deprecated in himself they gave his own progress key a standby because for some reason all these progress keys up to this point just didn't do that Military so good I'll just do one finisher, <laughs> not in the mood to do both. Muscles, because the battery's gonna die. <laughs> Cyclone rise. This looks great yet again. Like just the red, the silver. This is great. <laughs> Still never understood how, like, I guess the kick from Metsubo Junai was so powerful it made him spit blood. I don't know, his death didn't make sense. <laughs> Obviously, don't activate this, because then if you do, then you're going to activate the transmission. Charge right. 
So yeah, uh, just kind of like Metzgo Jinrai within the Zero One driver, or Mass Brain. Uh, this one is the first within the attached weapons that kind of, like, you know, it it goes on a bit too long, but I'm not as bothered by it. I'm more bothered with Metzgo Jinrai because there's literally, literally when you put in, like, the Shot Riser and Force Riser and such, there's a, what the heck, no, I was almost done. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so my thoughts overall on this set, I I really like it overall. It's mainly because it's finally nice to actually have a progress key for the thousand driver <laughs> after again this show, because it's just really baffling that they never did anything with that driver within this show. You would at least expect a power up of some sorts. No, <laughs> and it's like, look, I like that Bowser is one of the first writers in a while where, he, obviously, they kind of, you know, in the show at least, they kind of show that he didn't need to have forms and such because he had the Thousand Jacker. So in the Thousand Jacker, had elemental abilities, <laughs> but like. Still, it's still it was just baffling that like the thousand driver just never got anything. <laughs> so for this key set, or this progress key set to exist is cool. Yes, Zaya is like a retooling of Thousand and Arc One, but hey, it's at least something new for the belt. <laughs> so. I really like this set a lot. Also, like, you know, the sounds are phenomenal. <laughs> like, obviously. <laughs> like, it's just cool. It's a, like, you know, for, like, you know, Zaya is, like, more ruthless and such. So I really do like how they, like, I really do like how much they push that angle with this key set. With the sounds. And obviously it is, I guess, nice to have dinosaurs. Because, you know. Again, this is before Revice. <laughs> but basically, um, again, as I stated before, the good thing about this set is that you don't have to pay ridiculous aftermarket prices for this. Because of the fact Team Common Rider has imported this. I don't know if the supply is still there because this was a really when did this was actually one of the more quicker things they got out there which is weird <laughs> I think this retailed team counter price for like $30 which is pretty worth it for 15 per key even though this one is obviously the one that does everything but um, again, I generally don't know if you can actually pick this up from, like, Bluefin, or, no, Bandai Namco America, I believe they're called. Or, like, to collectibles. I personally am not sure about that. I really want to kind of say that you can't, but, um... That's why I suggest try to get the US release. If you can't find one, try to get this set for like at least under $40. <laughs> because it's, I think, because of the fact this is obviously a Visa Next item, they're gonna try to shoot the prices up <laughs> and such. And, you know, for like. You know, like, I guess I'll just say, like, it is, like, generally it was kind of weird that it took so long for Bandai to actually announce this thing's existence. Because it is really weird that they held off until the release of Metsubo Jinrai. That they finally announced this key set. And people were, like, clamoring it as, like, oh, hooray, this is... Part of that initiative Bandai's doing where they're going to just re release or release items that had never been released. But then Bandai had to directly state in the blog this was not a part of that initiative. And people still want to stick it in that initiative. 
again, if we want to see a zero one one thing in that initiative, that will be the review after this, or the review after that review. So, basically, people stop putting lies. The blog has specifically stated, no, this set is not a part of the toys that we've never made. They had this plan from the start. It's just that they announced it at the release of Metzville Jinrei's physical release. Anyways, um, the set is pretty cool, and it would have been a nice conclusion to the Zero One toy line. But we got one more set to cover, so I don't have to do with this review, so this is Power and I'll leave you. Bye. Gosh, this went on for too long. <laughs>